from Viva La Blaine, if the boys aren't interested in Earl Thomas, they should have pursued Ronnie Harrison from the Jags. Heck, a third or a fourth, it would have been a fourth, would have done it. Yeah, look, look, you guys don't have to tell me that you want a safety. I, I know how you feel. It was a fun half hour of, of Twitter where it was like, oh, maybe the Cowboys trade for Ronnie Harrison, and it never even came close to happening as far as I can tell. I don't, I don't really know what the Jags are doing, but I think that's where we currently sit. All right, from Chris, a.k.a. at ITN underscore Chris on Twitter, what are the chances Alden and Lamb are defensive end two? I read that as Dez, and I was very confused for a second. And wide receiver two by season's end. And does Thompson get the start over Ha Ha Surprise You? Um, I don't think Alden becomes defensive end two because I think Everson Griffin will handle that role, but he will be heavily involved. It'll just be in, in a rotation, and you'll see Alden, Griffin, and Lawrence on the field at the same time. I think Lamb has a better shot of being wide receiver two, and if it were a different team, I'd say yes. The tricky part is not, nothing to do with Lamb. It's that Gallup and Cooper are also awesome. As for Thompson, if he does start, I have him as the starter, if you had asked me this before camp, I would have been like, you're crazy. It's, it's not going to be Darian Thompson. Well, that's why they have practices, because Thompson has been better than Clinton Dix so far. So with where we're at right now, no, it's, it's a little bit more expected. With where we were at the beginning of camp in the offseason, yeah, I, I am surprised by that development. From my fake burner account, do you see the Cowboys carrying a fullback or using tight end as a fullback? So Mike McCarthy has said he considers fullback and tight ends, I'll, I'll use the phrase, like the same personnel tree, like there's, there's overlap there. The only fullback on the roster right now is Shea Olanalua, who is kind of a fullback running back hybrid. I think the Cowboys are not going to carry a fullback. I think they will end up carrying a tight end instead. Maybe they only carry three tight ends. So you could see uh, Blake Bell and or Dalton Schultz kind of utilized as that more H-back than your prototypical um, fullback uses. From True Fulbright, what is the most craziest trade you think Jerry would bite on? Um, trick question, not Jerry anymore. Uh, it's, it's Steven and Will McClay with a lot of influence there. In terms of wild Jerry-led trades, um, Jerry's a sucker for the skill positions. He loves his receivers, uh, which, which is rough because the Cowboys are fine there. The craziest trade is probably something involving Dak, but I, I don't know what's going to happen there. I, think in, I don't think a trade's that likely, but if I'm not crazy, I'll mention Dak Prescott. From Robert Olmstead, Jordan Lewis and a fifth-round pick from Malik Hooker. It's an interesting idea. There is some familiarity for the Colts side of it. Jordan Lewis and, and Matt Eberfuss. Remember, Eberfuss was the kind of passing game coordinator early on in Lewis's career as a member of the Cowboys. The value is probably about right. I don't think the Colts – I think the Colts are fine at nickel corner, though. And because of that, I think Indianapolis says yes, but I like the value put together, Robert. That's a pretty fair trade package. Let's move on now to some deals for you guys. Cowboys face – Coverings, chatsports.com slash Cowboys Mask. They've got two packs, individual four packs as well. A whole bunch of different colors and styles, anything you could want. Because if you're going to a Cowboys game this year, you're going to have to wear a mask. So why not use a Cowboys face mask? It's a perfect fit. Going to a game where the, the Cowboys want. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys Mask. Put the link in the comments and in the description for you guys. So all you have to do is go click and shop. So are you guys subscribed? I hope that you are. I would hope the answer is yes. I also know that with 1,200 people watching live right now, not all of you are. And that's okay. Maybe it's your first time watching. Maybe you check in periodically. I would highly recommend subscribing, folks. A, we're getting closer and closer to the ultimate meme dream of 69,000 subscribers here at the Cowboys Report. I can't wait for it to happen. So if you haven't already, now is the time to subscribe. From Football for Life, should we sign Prince Amukamara? 
he could be a number one or a number two, right? Guys, I will let you in on a, on a well-kept secret across the NFL. The dudes who get cut by other teams in camp because they're bad are not number one or number two corners. Amu Kamara could make the, Ra the Raiders roster. Let that sink in. All right, from Gallup Beast, who do the Cowboys value more, Wilson or Robinson? I think it's Robinson for, for two reasons. One, it is a new coaching staff. So they're not going to value what Wilson did in the preseason as much as maybe the previous regime did. And then finally, NFL teams value where they spent a draft pick on you. Donovan Wilson was a sixth-round pick. Reggie Robinson was a fourth-round pick. Now, Wilson might be ahead of Robinson for the time being, but in terms of long-term value, I think it is Robinson for this current organization. All right, from Caleb Sellers, I know how you feel about Chris Jones. Who do you have your eyes on at the punter position? Doesn't matter. My dislike of Chris Jones is because of his money. If Chris Jones was a vet minimum player, you wouldn't hear a peep out of me. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't care about it. Because if you're going to be the, the NFL's worst punter, okay, someone has to be worst, but you better be the cheapest. Chris Jones is not the cheapest punter by a pretty big margin in the NFL. From Emil Pedersen, where do you rank, rank Zeke and Tony Pollard as a running back duo? Um, you know, I think I put the, the Browns duo of Nick Chubb and, and uh, Kareem Hunt above those two. But there aren't very many back to tandems I would rather have, ignoring the, the money, of course, than Zeke and Pollard. I'd say comfortably in the top five, which is also where I rank Zeke among NFL backs. But, of course, this is a community-driven show. I want to hear from you guys. Where do you rank Zeke among the NFL's best backs? I don't think we'll see numbers lower than one, two, or three, but get your votes in right now and let me know where you rank, da or rank, rank Zeke among the NFL's best backs. I almost said Dak because of Allen's question. Over or under, how many passing yards will Dak Prescott have at the end of the season? So last year, Dak threw for 4,902. Let's put the over under at 4,800. A little bit less, but hopefully... The Cowboys aren't bottom three in the NFL of yards to go to score. They had the, the third worst field position in the NFL last season. So I'll put the over under at 4,000. If, if Dak gets that, you should feel really good about the Cowboys passing attack. Speaking of Dak, same thing we just did for Zeke. Rank him among the NFL's best quarterbacks. Now, this one I think we'll see a little bit more division in terms of where the votes actually come in. I firmly believe Dak is a top 10 quarterback. I feel pretty comfortable about that, especially looking ahead long-term based on the growth we've seen thus far. But get your votes in. One to, I guess, 32, rank Dak among the NFL quarterbacks. All right, from the bet, Michael Gallup, over seven touchdowns. Touchdowns are the tricky over-under to get because all it takes is one big game, and then you're there. Or he could just not have, you know, the, the, a bad stretch of like five games where he gets a bunch of yards but no touchdowns. He had six last year. I think seven is a pretty good over-under. I will be I will drink my Kool-Aid here and say Gallup gets, uh, I'll say exactly seven touchdowns this year. From Bo Beans, I am waiting to be the 69,000th subscriber. We're, we're, we're going to get there. That's going to be very soon, my friend. We're 2,000 away. I don't think we get there before week one, but it's going to be close. So I, I know you're waiting. I guess I appreciate that. Just don't forget about it. Maybe you can subscribe now, and once you get closer, just kind of flip it back and forth until you get, until you get that screenshot. Just saying. Either way, we will keep you covered on everything here around the Dallas Cowboys every single day. We got videos, sometimes multiple times a day, if there's crazy Cowboys news. They love signing players late in the evening this year. From Zachary Zoran, should the Cowboys trade for a tight end? I mean, who do you have in mind and at what cost? I feel fine, if not outright confident, with Blake Jarwin being tight end one for this team. Blake Bell and Dalton Schultz, they're fine as your backups. They're not going to play much anyway. Maybe some H-back, fullback type reps. I'm not going to invest big in a tight end 
because the Cowboys just did that with Blake Jarwin. So from that perspective, I'm just going to pass on trading for a tight end unless there's some outrageously good deal that you find, in which case, yeah, of course I'll do that one. Now, if you're going to go to a Cowboys game this year, you will be required to wear a face mask. And since I'm pretty sure Jerry's going to try and get as many of you guys in the stands as he can, you're going to want to wear one anyway. Head over to chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. There are some fantastic deals out there, a whole bunch of different styles and colors, and heck, some USA-themed ones for the Cowboys. That three-pack, by the way, by far my favorite one. They are all available at chatsports.com slash player or slash mask. Chatsports.com slash Cowboys mask. My bad, folks. Link is in the comments and it's in the description. From my burner account, if y'all hit 100K, bring your wife and dog on. Why not? Woo. We can make that happen. It, once we get to 1,000K, I will bring the wife and the dog on. Uh, uh, did it again. 1,000 subscribers. 100,000 subscribers. There we go. 100,000. Well, I'll bring my wife and my dog on. Be warned, little Finn is a coward and scared of everything, so he will be shaking when you see him. Just, just so you're aware. He's, he's a big, fat coward. All right, from Rife K, will C.D. Lamb play in the slot most of the time? I mean, I think you'll see some rotation involved in terms of where Lamb lines up. He'll place some outside, some place some inside. In terms of his primary spot, I, I do think he's going to get side ups, and I'm okay with that. He is a bit, bit more of a scrawnier build, and... Younger players oftentimes struggle with um, with uh, with you know with press coverage. I think that will work out fine for the Cowboys and for C.D. Lamb. So I think that I think a slot coverage role or slot duties role is going to be something you see C.D. Lamb handle, and I think he'll be good in that particular role. Just he just gets him acclimated to life in the NFL. From Dr. Erratic, CeeDee Lamb over or under 850 yards? A fantastic question, my friend, and one we've actually asked before on the show. I think it's a very good question. I think it's a good over-under amount here for, for CeeDee Lamb. I lean towards the over as we sit right now. So it's, it's, it's close I think 850 is, is a good over-under amount for a rookie receiver. In a year, two years, it's going to be an easy overpick. In his first year, I think it could go either way. So I lean more towards the over right now for C.D. Lamb. But, of course, I want you guys to get your votes in. Type O for over or type U for under in terms of the amount of receiving yards for C.D. Lamb in 2020. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.